when Blackmagic Designs announced the Vinci Resolve 18, they also introduced a couple of new things into the space. One of them being Blackmagic Cloud, a way that you could easily collaborate with people around the world. A portion of that that they haven't released yet is the presentations. This was a way so that you would be able to show and review work that you have done in DaVinci Resolve. During that presentation, they talked about how the web tools interlink with DaVinci Resolve's projects. Now, there are a lot of things here that will definitely speed up the process when getting reviews done. I guess I'll quickly go over how it works because I did spend some time playing with it at NAB. For those that were actually at NAB that were able to pick me out of the tons of people that were also wearing masks, hello, and it was nice meeting all of you. Let's go into the things that I experienced, what was announced, as well as things that I would like to see I also want to get your feedback on tools and tool sets that you would like to see this integration come uh, outside of the ones that I talk about today. Because I think the ones I talk about today are things that a lot of other people are also going to be interested in hopefully seeing them come to life. So the idea here is that we would go over to the Blackmagic website and there's the DaVinci Resolve page. We have the little login. Once we log in, we get to this page. So currently, we only have the ability to do the project server and settings for like billing and stuff like that. But here soon, once it's out of private beta, we'll have access to the presentations mode. Once this goes live, I think that we'll also be seeing a update of DaVinci Resolve because a part of how presentations works in the integration is being able to export directly out of DaVinci Resolve into presentations. That then makes a link when we do anything in presentations, we will see it in the DaVinci Resolve project. So the idea is we upload it, we get to this interface here. We have the ability to invite people in we can talk about it in a live setting, get some feedback, as well as if maybe someone's not there with you or you just wanna write the comment in, depending on where your playhead is, when you write the comment in, those will then show up in DaVinci Resolve. There's a couple of other features here where we can turn on our mics and cameras. We can also hit play and there's linked or synced playback as well. So when we hit play, everyone else's is playing at the same time. So we're all watching the same thing. That is what was announced. So I think that kind of gives you an idea of how presentations works. We can easily send this to someone, have them take a look at it. If they have some comments, they write them in at the specific time codes. Then as an editor, when we go back into DaVinci Resolve, we'll see those, or a colorist, you'll see those. Um, so what are the things that currently aren't implemented into presentations that I would like to see. I actually have a, a bit of a list here, so we'll just work our way down. So the first thing that I think would be great to see is some easy way to add in burn-in data if we previously didn't do it when we push this project into presentations. A lot of the time we wanna make sure that that stuff stays internal. We could put some burn-in data used for internal use only or some logos, whatever it may be. But I think it would be nice that if we had someone push the presentations and they didn't do this, it'd be nice to have like a one button click and then have it re-render in the background uh, on the presentation server that watermark into so that if someone couldn't just rip it off and use it um, for whatever reason. Next up is actually doing the invitations for the live presentation. So I don't know if you've ever worked with Zoom or Google Meets or something like that. Uh, we, can, we have the ability to broadcast an invitation to a list of people. It would be cool if this allowed that auto broadcast to happen, then it would say a time so you could schedule it. And I don't know how it works on, let's say Gmail's end of it, but I know that a lot of different applications that also have the ability to do calendars, you can click, yes, I can attend, no, I can't attend, and that information actually gets passed back to the service that uh, initially sent out that invitation, if it's Zoom or Google Meets or something like that. That would be cool to see. Additionally, uh, if we are doing a live presentation is and it's with a bunch of people, it would be cool to have something like a Google Meets or a Zoom where uh, everyone is just sitting in a waiting room, they currently can't see anything, having it more of a live interaction instead of an on-demand, they can just get a link and then automatically go in. So I think that would be really cool to see and 
and there wasn't a huge talk about how the live aspect outside of just having webcams and microphones and a chat window, um, there wasn't much on how the live aspect of it was. So that would be really cool to see. As far as markers, I think that the markers that are imported into DaVinci Resolve from presentation should look completely different and there should be an option to filter to show presentation or just project markers. I think that the ability to turn them on and off would definitely be beneficial, especially if someone is working in the project and they don't need to know about those markers, having those markers on off so that their uh, playhead doesn't snap to them. It would be really cool to see a mark as done. So maybe there's a visual representation of a completed marker. Maybe it doesn't, you can't snap your playhead to it anymore, or the marker just loses its color but keeps the outline. Something of that nature would be really cool. The only other thing that I could think of is some level of version control for the presentation markers. So if we go to a presentation for the whole timeline, Maybe we can click on presentation one and maybe its name. And then if there's a revision, I think that being able to host another presentation, have all those markers come in, they all should be filterable uh, differently, even though that's on the same timeline. Um, I think that turning some off and turning some on might be good because we could also have that maybe as the filtering. So if we have five different presentations, one for um, uh, color grading, one for the edit, one for VFX, whatever it may be, one for audio. Uh, maybe just being able to click for the VFX or whatever you named it for the presentations. That's the only thing that we would see in that. And then iteration two, we would then only see markers for uh, version two and so on. So those are a couple of my ideas uh, that I would like to see in presentations. I think I am excited for presentations. I think that anyone that is working remote or that is just working with clients, it doesn't even have to be remote work really. Anyone that's working with a client that uh, you want some way to see what's currently going on. Is it a project that they accept? Is there something that might be misspelled or that needs to be the colors need to be adjusted or uh, you know, we, that line that was said needs to be removed. It would be cool to be able to show clients, but make it as simple as possible so that they don't have to go through the process and headache of making an account and remembering the name of another account or whatever it may be. But yeah, those were a couple of things that stood out to me that I personally would like to see in the feature set for presentations. Like I said, I want this to be a conversation. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you would also like to see and maybe we can see a better and more full featured tool set for this new tool that hopefully is out of beta soon. Uh, outside of that, if you are using DaVinci Resolve and you want to know more about DaVinci Resolve or learn more uh, with DaVinci Resolve, I have a whole website with a ton of different courses about DaVinci Resolve. If you want some pre-made assets, I also have those. Or if you're looking to uh, learn DaVinci Resolve but you want a one-on-one -on -one sort of thing, I also offer that as well. Links in the description to my websites, but let me know in the comments, like I was saying. I'm really interested if anyone else has any uh, other portions of this tool set that they would like to see implemented that would you know, make their life a little easier. But with that being said, my name's JR. Thank you so much for watching. Till the next one. Peace.